Hi! I know it's been a while, so I'm so excited to come back and do January for your sign. Um, where I've been, I will, when I have some time, make a longer, more intensive video about that, if you care. But I think most of you just kind of want to know what's going on for my January. So this video is going to be a little bit longer. I had out my pendulum. I had out, like, seven or eight different decks of cards. I had out, like, even some, like, astrology dice. Um, so there's a lot in this video. And I will also uh, put somewhere on my website a little cheat sheet to help you get through the month. It's going to have your lucky days. It's going to have your unlucky days, the general theme. Um, what else does it have in it? Oh, of course your power crystal, your power color. It's going to have affirmations, which chakra you want to focus on this month, how you can spiritually evolve, blah, blah, blah. It's like the all-encompassing January. Like, get you off on the right foot right out the gate for this brand new year. So I'm so excited to do this for you and let's just get into it. I keep forgetting to mention this, but for those of you who um, don't know, if you go to my website, and there's like a link in the description box below, you can sign up to win a free reading every month. And so like you just sign up once and you're automatically in the drawing forever style. And so I just wanted to let you know. Sagittarius, happy January. So. I've been doing everybody's readings in sort of a different order. Uh, for you, I think I'm going to start with your crystal of the month. And so you have Celestine. And this one um, is also known as Celestite. But it's known as like the angelic crystal. So this one um, calls in angels and it kind of helps you to connect with your higher consciousness. It helps you with your spiritual development, with your growth. Um, it purifies your heart chakra. It helps you to interpret dreams, um, makes you more clairvoyant, more psychic. But really what it does is it creates a lot of harmony in stressful times. It gives you deep peace. It helps you to um, move along through new experiences. It soothes like any fear or any fiery kind of like angry emotions. It gives you clear ideas. Um, so this really helps you connect with your higher self and just kind of pacify anything that is scary or difficult for you. And it helps um, call in the angels to assist you with that, but then also increases your creativity. It does a lot of things. So if you want to know more about this crystal, um, there's more information on my website and you can also get yourself one there or you can get one from your local rock, rock shop, whatever, but that's your crystal of the month. So the reason why I wanted to start with that is because the energy for your month is a little bit different than that. It's very fiery energy and so then um, this would be what you'd use to sort of mellow those out. Now, let's look at your color energy of the month and you have scarlet and it says attract success. So scarlet is very like fiery energy, right? It's bright red, it's powerful, it's um, power, vitality, dynamism. It's just like that go get them stuff. It's helping you to attract success. So how do you use this energy? You can imagine a crystal or I'm sorry, a crystal, a um, color light ray going over your body in this color. You can wear this color like, um, Especially like as lipstick if you're a female, like that is a power color, right? Like it's saying, listen to me, you're commanding attention, like taking over the room with this color. It's a very noticeable color. It's about getting noticed and therefore attracting success. People, you can't be successful in selling your product or sharing your ideas if people don't notice you, right? And so that's what this color energy is about. So the affirmation that goes with this is infuse me with the energy of persistence, confidence, and success. And so this is your color energy. Why is that relevant? Because your tarot card theme of the month is Princess of Wands. Now, look at her, okay? That very fire, go get them attitude. And she's standing on top of a tiger. So she's like fearless, right? She goes, okay, well, tigers can be scary. They can bite you. 
but I can just stand right on top of this and be unafraid. Like, I am going to be here with my branch because branches, you know, obviously grow buds and leaves. Whatever it is you're trying to grow, whatever it is you're trying to make successful, whether that's a relationship or a business or a friendship or um, maybe you're just trying to achieve your New Year's resolution, you can be successful so long as you're unafraid, okay? So this is like a real go get them attitude. Yeah. And I want you to notice... She's looking with her eyes up to the sky. And so that's what's bringing um, this correlation in. She's looking to a higher power to help her be fearless. And if you look at the fire here, this passion, this excitement, maybe even the creativity, um, that's coming from an angelic source. This, these look like angel wings. Angel wings of enthusiasm, fire, drive, passion, and it's completely fearless. And so any of those fears that you have can be soothed with the Celestine. Now, um, there are a couple other things here that I, as I mentioned in the beginning, like I had out a pendulum, I had out a bunch of decks, I had out the astrology dice. Um, and the chakra that they're saying you want to work on is your sacral chakra. Well, you often hear me refer to the sacral chakra as the fear chakra. This is where they originate from, your fears. So if you're working on your sacral chakra, you're also conquering your fears and therefore more able to pursue what it is that you're chasing. So um, as far as your affirmation goes, we have this card here. It says, blame. So like, who are you blaming for things? It's saying, I accept responsibility for my own well-being. You are solely responsible for your attitude, okay? So we have thoughts, but we get to decide which thoughts we're going to adopt and make our truth. Like, it's annoying when you're sad or depressed and people say happiness is a choice, but it really is. We get to frame how we view things, okay? If this woman decides that she is powerless and that she is afraid, she's not able to achieve this success, okay? But she believes she's accepting responsibility for her own well-being and she's saying, you know what, there's fear, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to appear to be fearless and therefore she conquers what it is that she's afraid of. And that's kind of your energy for this month. So, um, moving on to the goal, the goal is to find your purpose. What is it you're trying to attract? What is this thing you want to be successful at? And so it says you possess the determination and dedication to constant or yeah, to consciously demonstrate love. So you can be very, very loving at the same time, fierce and fearless. Does this make sense? Whatever this is that you're trying to be successful at is coming from a place of love, from a source energy right? And this helps us to remember that. So that's what this is saying. It's like, whatever deed it is, whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, it is for the purpose of love, right? To show other people love, to show yourself that you love yourself just by standing up and being unafraid. Um, as far as the dice go, I don't do astrology, so I'm not saying this is what's in your chart astrologically, but there are themes, astrological themes, that will apply this month for you. And so what we have here is um, Jupiter, which is expansion and luck, in the fifth house of creativity, pleasure, romance, um, your hobbies, your kids, gambling even. Um, it's kind of like this energy of fun. So you will not only be lucky, you know, in whatever it is you're trying to achieve, should you be able to face your fears, um, but you might have these, like, creative aha moments, um, and you'll have a lot of fun doing it. This month is all about having a lot of fun and joy in your heart, and that's really only possible if you're in this fearless energy. Um, we also have Jupiter in the eighth house of loss, changes, or sex, and so... What it's saying is, like, don't be afraid of changes. Don't be afraid of saying goodbye to old things. Goodbye, 2018. Hello, 2019. Oftentimes, things that we 
discard um, is clearing a space for something new and better to kind of show up. And this is our lucky time. We know that. And so this is important. Um, if you're wanting to have some really exciting, passionate sex, um, don't be afraid to try new things is kind of what this is saying. And then we also have Mars, which is like this masculine energy, and it's about the pursuit of goals. Okay, let's talk about attracting success, right? Um, and this is in the second house of money and possessions. So if you're trying to start a new business, be creative, be fearless, try these things um, that maybe you're afraid to because it should be successful for you. And if it's not quite as successful as you want, change it a little bit. Throw it out and try something different. Be unafraid, but be creative. Now, um, the other thing is that each sign I pulled out like a spiritual hobby for you whether that's like meditation exercise a way to connect with spirit and for you guys you have crystals this month and um as you can see with the crystal that we picked you know that one correlates to the throat chakra and so it's about creatively expressing maybe these new ideas it's kind of saying here's what I have to offer and I hope that you notice so this is a really great month for anyone who's either looking for a relationship for anyone who's looking to start a business, who's seeking a promotion, anything like that, more so in the realm of, you know, like business success and wealth, maybe buying a house, purchasing a car, maybe you think you can't do it because you have shitty credit, but then you kind of like put that out there and the right place shows up and they can get you approved, whatever. Um, it's that kind of an energy. But it can also benefit you in the realm of relationships. So that is your January, and I can't wait to see you in February. Bye. I forgot to mention your lucky days and your unlucky days. So your luckiest day this month is January 11th, Sagittarius, and then your unluckiest day is the 6th. Okay, that's it. Bye. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!